Dante's Boxer Nation, what's going on, guys? So we're definitely entering the era of the free agent when it comes to boxing. Fighters like Canelo Alvarez and Devin Haney, they have found it extremely beneficial to remain a free agent. It leaves more options on the table, and it makes it harder for opponents to justify turning down fights and trying to use the promotional excuse. Well, this year, Shakur Stevenson has announced that he will be a free agent. He's now signed to top rank. He's been with top rank his entire professional career, but he's been struggling to get the fights that he wants to get. The biggest win of Shakur Stevenson's career is against Oscar Valdez, but he had been chasing Oscar Valdez for years and years. Bob Arum didn't want to give him up to Shakur Stevenson because Bob knew Shakur would win the fight. And Shakur was very aware of this because he came out and he said, quote, top rank loves Valdez. They don't want me in the ring with him. This was the reason why Bob Arum didn't even do a press conference to announce that fight, despite the fact that it was one of the biggest fights on top rank at the time. And then when Shakur and Oscar Valdez had their press conference the week of the fight, Bob Arum, he did something he had never did in all the years that he had been promoting fights. He stayed on stage for the undercard of the press conference, but then he decides to up and leave the press conference right before Shakur Stevenson and Oscar Valdez sat down to promote the fight. And then you have Terrence Crawford's situation. Bob Arum, he said he killed the Manny Pacquiao fight basically because he knew that Terrence Crawford would win the fight and he didn't want to see Manny Pacquiao get hurt. Would you have reservations if he said, next fight I want Terrence Crawford? Well, I killed the fight. Yeah. So you wouldn't you would want that for Manny? No, because I know would know how it would end. I mean, not that I knew it would end in, in a, a serious uh, disability for Manny. I, that I wouldn't know. But as a fight, I wouldn't want to see him take that kind of damage because it might uh, affect uh, his future life, uh, quality of his future life. Now, just keep in mind, Bob Arum, he said this about four years ago. Shortly after he said this, Manny Pacquiao will go out and beat Keith Thurman in one of the best performances of his career. As a promoter, your job is to make the boxer as big as possible. You're supposed to get him the biggest fights to make him a bigger star. If Crawford would have got the Manny Pacquiao fight four or five years ago, that would have made Crawford a much bigger star back then. Now, just like Shakur Stevenson was chasing Oscar Valdez for years, he now wants to fight against Vasil Lomachenko. Ever since Lomachenko lost to Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson has been calling out Lomachenko. The first time Shakur Stevenson, he contacted Lomachenko directly on Instagram or Twitter, and it was the most polite call out I had ever seen in boxing. Shakur, he actually praised Lomachenko, and said, let's fight. Loma actually thanked Shakur for all the kind words, but turned down the challenge and he said it was because he had unfinished business with Devin Haney, despite the fact that Loma was never even negotiating with Devin Haney for a rematch. A couple weeks after he said that, it was announced that Devin Haney would be moving to 140 to fight against Regis Progre. So after that was announced, Shakur reached out to Lomachenko again and said, hey champ, now that Devin Haney is moving up to 140, let's go ahead and fight. This time, Lomachenko, he didn't even respond to Shakur Stevenson. Shortly after that, Bob Arum came out defending Lomachenko, telling the media that Lomachenko is not ducking Shakur Stevenson. He's just taking some time off right now. He's not even thinking about boxing right now. It turns out Lomachenko was planning on fighting George Cambosis ever since George Cambosis signed with Top Rank. In fact, it's very possible the only reason they even signed George Cambosis was to make a Lomachenko Cambosis fight. So the question is, does Shakur Stevenson re-sign with top rank? Or maybe the most important question is, does Bob Arum even want to re-sign Shakur Stevenson? After all, Bob Arum is the same man who said he didn't even care if Terrence Crawford re-signed with him or not. And keep in mind, Terrence Crawford has knocked out every single opponent that he has faced at 147. But just in case Bob Arum does care about re-signing Shakur Stevenson, that leaves Shakur Stevenson with a bargaining chip to re-sign with top rank because now Shakur Stevenson would be able to demand the Lomachenko fight just to re-sign with top rank. But then if Shakur remains a free agent, he can do what Devin Haney does. He can bounce around fighting guys on the zone, guys that fight on ESPN or PBC. He can just sign little two fight or three fight deals like Devin Haney does. So we'll find out how smart Shakur Stevenson is this year. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.
All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.